Mothra. We begin the movie with a bunch of people getting rescued off an island. Depending on who you are and what you believe in and what movie you're watching is either Infant Island or Baru Island, which is surprisingly the only major change in the American dub. Either way, it's a test site, and strangely, the people who were found there aren't radioactive. Scientists are weirded out by this. And apparently, it's because of the juice the natives gave them that made them radioactive proof. The media is uproaring about this, including reporter Frank Sakai. For those who don't know, Frank Sakai is basically 50s Japanese Jack Black, who's even in a band. Either way, the Rosaliska government calls fake news. But they get Clark Nelson, yes, that's his Japanese name, to go send a doctor to investigate. The doctor being Dr. Chujo. And they're off. They eventually make it to Skull Island, and oh no, Frankie accidentally snuck aboard. And on the island, they find two little fairy girls. And they want these stupid humans to stop nuking their island. And they actually kind of agree. But then Clark says whatever and tries kidnapping the fairies. But then everyone's scared off by the natives. But then Clark just comes back later that night and kidnaps them anyway. And just like in King Kong, forces them into his show. Where they sing the title song of Bothra by the Peanuts. Because they're played by the Peanuts. Doc and Frankie find out what's going on and confront Nelson, which he doesn't care. So later that night, the two break in and try talking to the girls to see what Mothra is. And they basically say there's nothing they can do about it. Mothra is coming for them. As we see the giant Mothra egg hatch into a larva and is on its way to Japan. Send in the toys! And of course we get our Toho giant monsters destroying things, which looks honestly really cool and a major step up from the past films. But it's all no use because Mothra finds Tokyo Tower, knocks it over, and cocoons there. But then they bring out a giant space heater to try and fry her. But oh no, she hatches into Mothra finally. And just like in Rodan, she just casually flies over and everything blows down. Mothra is like so cute. Nelson finds out Mothra is after him, so tries escaping, but he's shot down by the police. But, happy ending. The fairies are returned to Mothra, and she just goes home. Alright. That was Mothra, and it was a classic for a reason. Your normal giant monster fun. The effects are really good in this film. The blue screen is kind of obvious, but it is a major step in Toho's production. Mothra is a really good design. And I even enjoyed the human stuff. It's even kind of funny. The only real downside is I wish Mothra was actually in Mothra more. But either way, out of 10, 9.